Welcome to the planning board meeting of September 30th, 2024 at 6.30 p.m. And Emily, would you read the oh, highlight, happily. please? Thank you. This meeting will be held in a hybrid fashion with the opportunity for both in-person attendance and remote participation. Please note that while an option for remote attendance and or participation is being provided as a courtesy to the public, the meeting slash hearing will not be suspended or terminated if technological problems interrupt the virtual broadcast unless otherwise required by law. Members of the public with particular interest in any specific item on this agenda should make plans for in-person versus virtual attendance accordingly. The meeting will be held in person in the main meeting room of Deerfield Municipal Offices in accordance with Mass General Law Chapter 30A. Anyone intending to record the meeting must identify themselves to the clerk and provide their name and address for the record. Great. Thank you. You're so welcome. All right. Okay. Just to let, er let everyone know, <laughs> guidelines for business meeting, please speak one at a time, follow Deerfield Code of Conduct, be respectful, considerate, courteous, concise, and recognized by the chair. And I'll do a roll call. Kathy Wittroba. Kathy Wittroba here. Emily Gaylord. Emily Gaylord here. Rachel Blaine. Rachel Blaine here. Andrea Leibson. Andrea Leibson here. And Ann Buchanan Weiss. Ann Buchanan here. And Satu Zoller is absent. And Denise Mason present. Put that backwards. All right. Uh, the minutes of August 12th. Has everyone had a chance to review them? Are there any additions or corrections? Uh, yes. Anne? Uh, yes, this is Anne. Um, I was actually present, not yet, very much. Not absent. Yeah, yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Anne was present. And, if you can correct that. Andrea? I have a, um, a correction, please, to um, uh, number five uh, under the forest, <laughs> under the Pine Nook Forest Grants Letter of Support. I, I'm sorry, Andrea, can you please speak into the microphone? I can't quite hear you. Sorry. Under number five, other business, the Pine Nook Forest Grants letter of support. Um, please change the word protect to purchase. I explained that the uh, Department of Conservation and Recreation is pursuing a grant to purchase the, uh, the two parcels on Pine Nook Forest. Okay, so it's purchase, it's not protect and purchase, is that the? Well, probably they would protect as well, but but most importantly is that they're trying to purchase them and the money from the federal grant will allow them to purchase okay. this land. Okay. All right. Are there any other corrections to the minutes? No, but thank you for doing them so quickly. Yes. Yes. All right. Oh. So do I hear a motion to accept the minutes? I move we accept the August 12th minutes. All right. And all in favor, Emily Taylor? Not August. It's not August 12th. Nope. It's the September 9th. Oh, it's September, September 9th. 9th. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I did make a mistake on that. I, so it is September. I was just making sure everyone was paying attention to what? September 9th. <laughs> minutes. Okay. All right. So all in favor of accepting Emily? Emily Gaylord, aye. Denise Mason, aye. Rachel Blaine, aye. Andrea Leibson, aye. Ann Buchanan, aye. Kathy Wichoba, aye. All right. Thank you. I so just want to. Minutes are approved. Okay. Can I just make also. I'm sorry. This is we, we can, don't have to do it on this notes, but um, Amy, for future for the next set of notes, could we just write Ann Buchanan? That's how she goes. That's how she is known. She should be Ann Buchanan, not Ann Buchanan Weiss. Just oh, for that. okay. I okay. Mean, I, we already just passed it, and I think Ann's okay with that. But but let's uh, make it right for the next one. Yeah. Thank you. I didn't realize that. Thank you. It's fine. No, it's good. <laughs> It all matters. All right. Okay. So for new business, we have an A and R on two thirty nine Upper Road, Map thirty eight, lots two and three, and Wood or da Daniel Kuzmeskis, would you like to come up to the microphone? Up your mic. I've been told I speak plenty loud, but uh, yeah, I don't hear so good. Well, right. And it's right, for the okay. recording, so that's and what Right makes. into the mic, because we can hear you, but people online sometimes can't hear. Yeah. So if you can do right into the yeah. mic. All right. Hi. Okay, and so I'm sorry, if you can tell me your name. My name is Daniel Kuzmeskis, 239 Upper Road. That was perfect. <laughs> Good job. Okay. All right. Do you want to just tell us about what you are doing? I mean, we have, we've looked yeah. at everything, but if you could... 
Well, we, we, my wife and I purchased the uh, land behind our house. Uh, it was lots, parcels were lots mm -hmm. two, three, and ten. And uh, that was, uh, that came up for sale. We purchased it on June 14th. And our neighbors expressed some interest in purchasing the land. And so we opted to, uh, hire a surveyor, Daniel Sauls, and he came out and surveyed it. We've got, uh, we divided those the lot three into three parcels. One, uh, we'll keep one and then we'll sell the other two parcels, A and B, to uh, our neighbors. They just, they just want to extend their land up the hill. Okay, okay. So I, so the parcels that were there that they are buying are not building lots. They will just be extending it to make their parcel deeper. Correct. Okay. All right. All right. And as far as I, if, my, it's my understanding, um, Amy, that uh, Mr. Walden, our commissioner, has looked, has no issue. Christopher Dunn, our town planner, has no issue. Is that correct? That is correct. All right. Does anyone have any questions about the parcels? No, it seems pretty straightforward. I was hoping it would be. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes we get some confusing ones, but no, this is great. Okay. I'm gonna flip that right now. Yeah, we can just flip it over. And then you can take it with you. That's the good news. Wait, just he mm -hmm. takes it with all of them? No, no but some of them. No, no because he has to. Well, Amy. Amy will have to. Okay, Amy. Um, I think it's pretty straight. Well, before we sign it. It's registered. It's pretty straightforward. Mr. Kuzmeskis, does he take all of these copies to the Registry of Deeds? No, he only needs the Mylar to the go mylar. to the Registry, but it will give him the Mylar in one paper because I certainly don't need all that paper. But yeah, and you can yes. use a thin Sharpie or a thick Sharpie, whichever one you like. Okay. All right. Sure. Okay. So, okay. okay. All right. So, um, okay. okay. I move that we endorse. The uh, NR, hold on, I'm going to tell you which one so that I save face here. <laughs> NR for 239 Upper Road, map 38, lots two and three to extend. Um, to split the property in three pieces and extend pots, pot, par, uh, parcels A and B as part of the existing lots with frontage. That's second. Rachel Blaine. <laughs> oh, right. oh, that was Rachel Blaine, Emily Gaylord, second. Okay. All right. Um, vote, Kathy Wittroba. Kathy Wittroba, aye. Emily? Emily Gaylord, aye. Denise Mason, aye. Rachel Blaine, aye. Andrea Liebson, aye. Anne Buchanan, aye. All right. It looks like it's pretty straightforward. All right, thank you. So we just have to sign, and then we will give you the mylar so you can take that to the registry, and then you keep the rest. Excuse me? Yeah, yeah, sign all the copies. Um, and if you like, I can give you information for the registry before you leave. Would that be helpful? Yes. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah, okay. So you, do, okay, I'm going to pop right out. Hold on. Yeah, come on out. Okay. She's going to give you the information to take to the registry. Oh, so you can great. Yeah. Not, no, like I say, <laughs> I, I speak loud, but I don't hear so well. All right. Okay. Thank you.
and I they just said they were interested to go to sell it in the next place. So, I mean, and, class, and, and you know, I'm not slowing down the talk, but that's why I was like, sort of, it's, it's really nice to be here. And so it's just kind of like, But it took it, I didn't realize that I bought it. And now I probably have to get it a little bit more than I thought. It's a big cost. And then there's capital gains costs on top of it. And I just bought it. But the thing is, you can only do this by next person down the road. Like if it's a small thing, it's a small It is one of those things that seems like it's going to be so simple. Just the just the mylar, I think. Amy, just the mylar one. Uh, he can take the mylar and, and a paper copy if he wants to have a paper copy. It's up to him. I only need one for the office. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. <laughs> okay. Well, that was pretty straightforward. Thank you, Amy. Sure. All right. So, are there any old business that we need to discuss? Think of any. Any other business not reasonably anticipated? No. Any public comments? I don't see any public. Um, yeah, I have one old business. Dan, did you want to talk about the the thing that you wrote about the Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Are there right. any reports? And yes. Which one? No, I went to two meetings. Yes, so it was both then. Yeah, but no, I was kind of more interested. Right into the market. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, I did not expect this. So, um, what was the, what was my first meeting? That's terrible. <laughs> It's it's actually just more of this about the same. Oh, okay. It was the it was the A yeah, mm -hmm. ADUs. Um yeah, okay. Well, and that is interesting because okay, so it was about ADUs and how uh and I I'm they, sorry, what was about ADUs? I haven't heard a thing up until now. Is it a, a training or what was the It was a uh an online meeting of um by a a, 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 a attorney uh, office that deals with um, I don't know state. state yeah, regulation, I guess. yeah. I I wanted um, to attend that and I couldn't. Okay, thank yeah. you. So it was it was interesting. Um, uh, there were a lot of questions uh, by people from other planning boards, um, but basically they dis they described the law and how it's going to change uh, ADU um, uh, regulations. Yeah. And uh, we have to change our our bylaws so that they uh, they are consistent with the new state law, uh, but it's not urgent. I think that's probably the most important thing that I learned. Um, what else? No. And then I went to the FERCOG meeting this week, last week, and somebody. Uh, 
I don't know his name, I'm afraid, um, said it, it's uh, the unfortunate thing is that there's gonna, they're gonna allow moratoriums on um, ADUs after February 2nd when the law becomes. And several of us said uh, we, don't, we didn't understand it that way at all. Um, so that was, that never got resolved. I don't think that's right from what I heard at the meeting, and why would that be, given that the whole point is to um, to to deal with the housing crisis? So, so what? Can I, so what it sounds to me like is the person at the FERCOG or whoever it was a planning board member, probably from some yeah. other planning board, yeah. um, was suggesting that towns could announce a moratorium until it was their regulations were caught up or. I, I it was sure. not clear. Okay. No, he was not clear. He just said, "Get the get your ADUs uh, applied for now because it's going to be problematic later." But so it was not resolved, as yeah. I understood it, and it was not clear. Yeah, actually, Anne, if I can chime in, I I was also at um, that meeting. Now I'm remembering, and they did say that um, basically. Yeah, we don't have to rush to change our bylaws, but after February 2nd, um, any place where our law is stricter than the state law, the state law will apply. So, yes. uh, yeah, I yeah. think it sounds like your guy might have been misinformed. I'm not yeah. sure what. And we don't about. need a bylaw, but she doesn't recommend that. They didn't recommend that, but I'm not sure why, since, yeah. you know, because it has to do with zoning more than planning boards I'm not I was not clear to me so I, I, I think in the meantime that we'll we'll get more information on that and I know when we were doing this I've probably said this 10 times at least you know as far as ADUs are concerned I don't I mean we certainly haven't had any yet and I don't think we're going to get a big rush to get ADUs that I think they'll mostly occur within the central district in South Deerfield because they're on sewer, because it's yeah. going to be cost prohibitive from what I've read. It can be anywhere from 250 to $300,000 to build a new ADU. And you've got to con consider that if you have to upgrade your septic, that's going to cost at least $30,000. Right. So I don't think it's going to be a big issue for the town of Deerfield at this point. But we'll see. And I think one of the main things is that they don't they no longer have to be owner occupied. And I think right. that is probably more of an issue in the city of Greenfield from what I understand. Yeah, so, that sounds, sounds so right to me. To be determined. We'll just wait and see. How many parts of ours be, other than the owner occupied occupied? restriction which we put on and there's a, a number of parking spaces requirement that's been that's lower that's been, that's, right. and, you know, so, so. And we we didn't yeah. have a at all yeah. Yeah. yeah essentially is the state law overriding town bylaws completely okay. yeah. yeah yes anywhere yeah. where the state law is less strict uh the state law does allow multiple adus by special permit Right. So, you know, we'll wait and see. I don't think we should, you know. Another thing that we had in ours was um, an occupancy time, uh, you know, like it was for X amount of time. But I think that that is that part of the, um, you know, but. So they, you mean in terms no, but of short term? Yeah, short term. term. It, we had a kind of anti short term occupancy clause. I'm not quite sure about that. Okay. I know that. Because if ours is, I mean, I, I, if they don't have anything. Right. No, they they actually they talk about they it do. in terms of summer towns and so on. But yeah. But yeah. Now, Rachel, I, I believe that the state law does um, say that it's a minimum 30 day occupancy, if, if my memory serves. I did see the other day that you can go on to Amazon and order a tiny house for $19,000. <laughs> I don't know anything about the, you know, insulation and that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. All right. Well, thanks, Anne, and th thanks for joining the FERCOG meetings. We appreciate okay. that. It was actually I enjoyed it. It was kind of fun. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Are there any other committee or seminar reports? Anything new? Exciting? No? Okay. I've got a couple things. Um, tomorrow night at, I believe it starts at 6.30, there's a second
presentation on the 1888 building and the architects will be here and also the OPM, the owner project manager. The first one was really good. There were a lot of really good questions. So, um, you know, if you're able to attend, it would be really sure. good. I, I'm pretty sure it's six. open at 630. Uh, okay, that's at right. Seven. Right. At seven. And that, of course, is going to be on our warrant. I forget which number it is, but on October 7th. And just to reiterate, there is no new taxes for that. Okay. It's for four. Yeah. $4 million for anybody who wants to watch this meeting after $4 million, that is a federal earmark, $3.8 million from CPA funds, and the rest of it is from ARPA money. So no new taxes. It's a really great um, addition onto the 1888. So if you can attend, that would be great. And then again on, oh, well, this is coming up on October 17th, uh, there's Sunny Days, which is our new marijuana establishment they're holding i guess they've got to hold a public hearing or public meeting you know for any abutters within 300 feet but i don't know who lives there so maybe very short-lived meeting and that's six o'clock on october 17th so i know you know that came before us so if anyone's interested i'll be here prior to that for another meeting um anything else yeah, so tomorrow's at seven mm -hmm. Yes, so tomorrow it starts at 7, but I think, you know, um, doors open at 6.30. Yeah. I can't think of anything else. I mean, other than, I guess, the next thing coming up is next Monday town meeting at Frontier. The doors open there at 6 p.m., so it's good to get early because it takes time to check in. Okay? And um, that's open space obviously Andrew's talked about that extensively which is great there are two different warrants and that'll be um, that'll be up the um, 1888 building and then also what's really really important is the conveyance of voting on the conveyance of land for the um, for senior housing to the select board so when they um, end up hiring a developer they can convey the land to that whomever it is. So, and that'll be voted on as well. And I believe that needs two thirds vote. The 1888 just needs a majority. So please have all your friends and neighbors attend town meeting. So there'll be another thing on, but I'm not gonna get into that. That's clickers, so. <laughs> <laughs> and that is not a binding vote. So that's, yeah. No, nope, and that's that's about it. So if nobody else has any other. If nobody else has anything else, I'd love to move that we adjourn. Oh, I'm actually, before you do that, can, do we want to oh. confirm that your next meeting is going to be oh. um, November 18th? November? November 18th. Yes, we this couldn't week. do it on the. Right. Because the election and then the 11th was um, Veterans, Veterans Day, Day. So you were yeah, pushed no, out to the 18th. Oh, Veterans Day? Okay, I get my holidays you get your... mixed up okay so november 18th yes okay great so Thanks november so much, 18th amy. thank you amy now. thank right. you amy um so we have so a motion on the floor i move that we adjourn yes oh, and i will second that, that so uh, emily roll call. kathy Watroba. kathy Watroba, aye emily emily gaylord aye denise mason aye rachel blaine aye andrea leibson aye and buchanan aye all right meeting adjourned